Looks like one of those gold stars my teacher used to give me in the second grade, and oh my god, the music is annoyingly cheerful. Well, howdy do, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet ya. My name is Twink. Uh, okay. But you, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? Well, you see, you dumb broad, I flew, because I'm a star, and stars can do that. You see, I'm floating right in front of your face right now, you idiot. Our job is to grant wishes. You came because I wished that somebody could help me? Well, no, duh! I mean, come on, I'm a freaking star, that's what I live for. That's just great, thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish, I want some red gummy bears, and a new toy truck, and a new tiara, and a new dress, and some friends to play with, and a pony, and some board games, and... Uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. I'm afraid I can't do that. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that, but see, I'm small and puny and insignificant and totally pathetic, and wow, that theme music is getting really annoying. Then, can you take me away from here? That would be kind of nice. Plus, I heard my castle's been captured, so if you could save them, that'd be kind of cool too, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. I'm not really good at this whole business. Actually, I just caught a call up to the sky a day ago. I can't do jack shit yet. I'm pretty damn useless. I'm a totally pointless character. If I were more a more splendid star, maybe I wouldn't suck so hard. That's alright. Don't be sad, you bitch. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Uh, not quite. We got a lot of work to do, Peach. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? Can you even do that? I want to give this to him. Hey, that's my brother! Give him back! This is a lucky star, isn't it? Even this is better than me, and it's inanimate! I can't believe how useless I am! Okay, I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can to serve some purpose in this game. I'll be off. Oh, wait, Twink! I want just one more thing! Can you also... <gasps> Tell Luigi I love him, and now that Mario's out of the picture, we can be together! Oh, Peach, you sneaky shrew, you and your love triangles. Of course, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely! Yeah, I can do this. Now, don't despair, I'll be back soon to stay safe when I return, okay? Oh, God, so bright and cheery and happy and colorful. Out on the balcony. How can you breathe in space? How is your head not exploding? Or, like, how are you able to, like, exist? Nintendo logic. All right, back in control of Mario, thank God. Sick of game Princess Peach, jeez. Um, before we continue on with the game, I thought we'd come over here real quick and I'd show off a little building at the bottom of Shooting Star Summit. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's completely optional, but I think it's kind of useful. So anyway, you can come here and... Ah, my, my, I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is... Lovely. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My, my. Does everyone have a freaking crush on Mario? Anyway, you can pay coins to basically have the location of star pieces, badges, and stuff like that revealed to you. Um, I played the game enough to know where a good lot of them are, at least the ones that I think are important, so I won't really be using that. But for you guys who haven't played this game yet, it can be kind of nifty. And this is... I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. Okay, this is really awesome. This guy has a ton of very nifty badges. Unfortunately, we don't have many star pieces to trade up for the good ones, but trust me, this guy holds a lot of really useful stuff, so save up those star pieces and come visit him whenever you uh, accumulate a few of them, and you can probably get something really good for your troubles. So I'll probably be trying to do that, and I have a few badges in mind that I want to be getting, so once we get enough star pieces, we can go do that, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on with the game! Doo -doo -doo. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry, I'm in a huge hurry, I gotta find this dude named Mario, and wait a second, you're him. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm not entirely useless, I found you. You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars, I found you. Oh, that's punny. Okay, quit dancing around there. How do you do? I'm Twink, Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, 
Yes, here it is. God, don't tell me you forgot it. Here, take it. It's my brother, and they hung him up on a rope, and now he's turned into a lucky star, which is very useful to you. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. Red text. May I take a moment to explain what it is? Uh, no thank you. I already know exactly what it is. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about this. No, really. I already know. Okay, great. I don't even have to explain. Just one more thing I'm not allowed to do. Great. Once you understand how to use the action command, you'll be awesome. Terrific. Now you'll be much tougher in battle now. You know what I'm saying, man? Here you are! Uh, who said that? Whoa! Kami Koopa got a sex change! What? You can't be! Are you following me? What a foolish star, kid! Oh god, Kami Koopa, I thought you were bad as a man! If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous! I'm very super famous, super famous. What? She'll give me a- she'll give you a raise? Do you get paid in coins or something? Uh, cute battle with this Magic Koopa. Just gonna go ahead and throw up the stats on screen. And shoot. Well, I want to show off action commands. So basically, what an action command is, well that. If you time your button presses, you can do extra damage, and you can also avoid taking damage. So, like this power jump right here, if you press A, right as you land on the enemy, you do a little extra damage. So now that we have the uh, lucky star, we can do that. And we also leveled up. So whenever you level up, you get a hundred of uh, those stars, you can pick one of these things to upgrade. I'm going to start out by picking... Let's see, I think I'm going to go with health. And I'll probably just alternate, so next time I'll get flower points, the time after that I'll get badge points, and do it like that. But yeah, now that we can do action commands, battles will go a lot more easily, because... Even though I'm dealing with a little bit of lag, I think I'm kind of okay at them, so... We can do more damage to enemies, and we can block some of their attacks, and that's cool. Well, Mario, see you later! Yeah, good riddance. Jeez, what a jerk. Oh, oh god, he heard me, he heard me, he came back. Yeah, that's right, Mario, I heard you. I heard every word you said, and I don't really appreciate you talking about my back like that, and... Oh god, I hate this guy. Yeah, okay, whatever, you're gonna blow up, I'm just gonna skip through your text, I really don't care. Yeah, please be brave, yada yada, basic blah blah blah. Okay, now he's gone for real. Good. Mara's doing his little dance there. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little toaster. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business, man. Indeed. Okay, now that we have settled that whole thing, we can now go to where the first shine sprite is located, which, as we know, is the Koopa Brothers Fortress. So let's make our way there. Just gonna spin on through here, and what do you want? Oh, Mario! Merlon was looking for you! He lives in that house with a spinning roof! He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house! I was just about to go look for you, but here you are! What a rare call it is for Merlin to have someone over to his house! He's a bit eccentric! Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out at all! Well, let's go see what he wants, I guess. Merlon, you there? Merlin is out! Uh, okay. Why do you keep on knocking? I tell you, he's out! Jeez, dude. No need to do that. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Oh, hya hya, dude. Wait a minute. A face seems very familiar to me. Uh, Mario been in quite a few games? Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. I have news. Princess Peach, she, she's trying to get with Luigi. You need to come in and learn what I have to show you. She's what? She's two-timing me? That double-crossing whore! Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I'm a wizard, obviously, from my long mustache and my robes and such. What I discovered is very important and concerns you and your love life. But before I tell you, there are other things which I must speak. It's a very long story. Hmm, where should I start? It was in the old days, one of my ancestors. And that's all that matters. Hey, hey, ha! What? Mario! Were you listening to me at all? No, just taking a nap with my eyes open. Oh, alright. So, anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you got lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Everything's got a price, doesn't it? 
Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. According to my second sight, your path must take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Brothers. To reach the Koopa Brothers fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Alright, sounds simple enough. Let's get on with it. Jeez. Didn't have to talk my head off, old man. So, let's go ahead to the Koopas. Oh, God. These are very unfortunate looking toads. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bus Fortress would be a huge mistake. Yeah, totally not radical, dude. Definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlin for help. That would be totally unradical of you. That would be really bad news for us. I, I, I mean, you. Don't even think about it, bro. Um. Okay. I guess I'm totally not going to go ask Merlin for help after they just threaten me. Alright, this trips up some people. The thing is, when you come back to talk to Merlin, you can't talk to him at this particular spot. You actually have to go behind his counter and talk to him. Because if you talk to him at the counter, the dialogue is different for some reason. You actually have to come back here and talk to him, like, right next to him. That's ridiculous! Such a thing has never been heard of! Never! Preposterous! I'll get to the bottom of this! Follow me over here, I'll see what's going on! All right, old man Merlin gonna kick some ass. Let's go watch the fight. Get your popcorn out, guys. This is gonna be a real slobber knocker. We're in for a treat here. Let's see what this guy's got up his sleeve. I told you, you can't pass, bro. It's totally uncool. Take off. Oh, wow, you contributed a lot to that whole conversation. You are toads, are you? Uh, we don't know what you're talking about, bro. We're totally toads. Check us out. Yeah, what gives? We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out, blocking your way. Reveal your true selves, fiends! Wazam! Oh my god! It's- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! What a twist! Aw oh man, I knew we shouldn't have gotten those costumes from Hot Topic, they were such crap, man. Guys, black, yellow, green, your names suck, but we gotta retreat for now anyway. Wow, okay. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros, and they're going to be very easy to defeat because they're utterly pathetic. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Oh, Mario, can you please pick up some Pepto-Bismol for me too? I'm all out. To get to the Pepto-Bismol, just go to the town shop and ask the guy beyond the counter for it. He'll know what you're talking about. The Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear up the... Wait, what? I, I wasn't paying attention to the text at all. <laughs> uh, I, I think he mentioned something about a Koopa with a blue shell. Something, I don't know. I, I totally skipped past that. Sorry. Anyway, that will be all for today's episode. So, until next time, this has been Jesus Quesadilla. In the next episode, we will be doing some stuff with the thing and the person at the time. So, be sure to come back and see that. Until next time, peace!